All right, explain the philosophy of how you build the team that Jalen Brown didn't make the roster, but his teammate Derek White does. What goes into that decision? Yeah, I'm glad as you brought that up. Um, so, you know, we, we, we went to training camp and we didn't have KD. KD was out, Kevin Durant, um, you know, sort of coming back from a calf injury. And then Jason Tatum was late for arrival. He didn't show up the first two or three days. So, you know, we ended up having to sort of play Anthony Davis and Bam out of bio together. And we didn't know if that would work. I think going into camp, we thought, let's have three centers, much like in 96 when we had Akeem Olajuwon, David Robinson, and Shaquille O'Neal. And we'll rotate. All three of them are different. They provide different things. And so we'll have sort of a three-headed monster at the center position. But what we found, because we didn't have the numbers those first few days, was that Bam Adebayo and Anthony Davis can really play well together on both ends of the floor. And at times might be our best defensive lineup. So we kind of stumbled upon something and we learned something about our group during the uh, during, you know, during those those four days in Vegas. And so when we pivoted off of, you know, off of Kawhi Leonard, we said, OK, we got a little bit of a log jam now at the four position, you know, LeBron James, Kevin Durant. Jason Tatum, uh, now Bam Adebayo, all these guys can play the four, and we envisioned them playing the four. And so, okay, let's not bring another guy who might play that three-four position in. Let's bring in someone now who can really give us great defense at the point of attack. That was also a priority for putting this team together, being able to pick up full court, guard and pressure the point guards of opposing teams, and Drew Holiday might be the best in the world at doing this. But having some injuries that we had during camp, well, what happens if Drew gets hurt? You know, and so Derek White might be the second best in the world at point of attack defense. So um, that was sort of the thought process. But we really learned about our team those days in Vegas and discovered something with Bam Adebayo and Anthony Davis on the court together that we really weren't thinking about prior to our arrival in Vegas. Did you call Jalen Brown to tell him or explain this to I him? I, I spoke to his agent and, um, you know, I spoke to his agent. We, um, you know, I, I, I don't know if that was before or after, uh, you know, things went out on Twitter. Uh, but, um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I think this idea that, there's a conspiracy theory. I always love a good conspiracy theory, but um, you know, it was, it was really truly a basketball decision and these are tough decisions, you know, and, but having gone through this uh, with the FIBA competition, um, you, you want to find the right balance and the right pieces on the court that, that we needed. And not to say that he wouldn't have been good. There's a lot of guys, you can go on a list of guys who are, are very capable and very, very, you know, very qualified, but you know, for where we were, it was the right decision. And Derek White, um, I think, will help us as we pursue goal.